What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at Copart on this beautiful, cold, rainy day. Let's jump into this video and see what we find. And we're gonna start with a thumbnail. I don't know anything about this car other than it looks like it was in a fire. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's, that's why this car is here. It was in a fire and it looks pretty rough. It is a GT, so she's a Coyote. I don't know the year. I don't know anything else about it other than she definitely, definitely got, got hot. Um, the car itself does not look like it was on fire, but it was in a building that obviously caught on fire. And, uh, you know, I think the car would clean up very nicely. I really do. I, it, it, it's going to need some work. But I think the car itself would clean up quite nicely, guys. Um, I don't want to get completely filthy here, but take a look. See what I mean? Yeah, that's... You clean this thing up, it's not going to be perfect. But man, I, I think she would look a lot better. You could probably, if you wanted to, you could probably flip this pretty quick. Simply by taking it home like this cleaning it up really really good make it look nice and shiny yellow again and simply repost it for sale like <laughs> you could probably clean it and flip it well you need a you need a windshield wow there's like that was a pull string light you see that this used to be a pull string light it's gonna the rubber surround has melted it's completely gone um the roof although still intact i don't know if you can see how you could see it ain't right you know what I mean? That That's not normal. Uh, a convertible top doesn't normally look like that. The brake lights got really hot. And although they're very dirty, um, they may be stuck that way. They look melted. The brake lights look very, very melted. Poor car, man. It was a beautiful car, and I love the yellow. I really, really love the yellow. Um, over here, I mean, everything looks pretty good. You get over here, you see it's definitely melted pretty good there. The mirror surround is also very, very melted. The mirror cap partially melted as well. The pillars look all right. Windshield destroyed. I mean, it, it, it must have gotten really, really hot over here. This whole windshield is, is pretty tore up. It's like you got part of the roof or the ceiling that the car was under. And boy, there was a real hot spot right here. That is not going to come back, obviously. But it's not that big of a deal to repaint the hood. You know, you could get that done relatively cheaply. I think that if you really wanted to, you could probably do not much to this car other than a little bit of paint work, clean it up, and you could flip it. We're going to open this and see what the interior looks like. Oh, wow. Yeah. It smells like a fire car, as you would probably have expected. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, this is good. This is a good one, guys. Oh, uh, she, she smells really, 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 really bad. What a shame. It does not have the big digital display. It's got the old school analog type of screen. Let's, uh, let's see if I can get in here and open this hood. There we go. She's a little rough. <laughs> She's, she has seen better days. There we go. Oh, man, you can't. You can't even touch this thing without getting... Uh-oh. I can't find the hood The hood release. And the car is so close to the car next to it that I can't hardly... Uh, I can't hardly get in here. Not to worry. I got it. <laughs> this is... Uh, <laughs> this car is... She's really dirty, man. She's, she's getting me really dirty. All the cars I mess with out here, and, and it's it's this one. It's, it's a new ish mustang gt yeah the battery i assume is probably still connected again this fire i don't believe started from this car we probably i don't know i uh i don't know if it's safe to start it or not honestly why don't i do this let me pull it up on copart's website real quick and depending on what it says there, we'll determine whether or not I put a jump on it and attempt to start it. Well, we are a go to attempt to start this car based on what I just saw 
on Copart's website. Again, this car is not what caught on fire. It was obviously in a garage or a building. It was a structure that caught on fire with the car in it. But it looks like it looks like it should still run. It, it's a mess though. So let me grab my my bag with my booster pack. We'll go over to the other side. I'm sure that's where the jump spot is. And we'll attempt to start it up. This car is like a living Christine. You remember when Christine was on fire driving down the road? That's that's what this car is right here. All right, jump spot I would assume is under this. Oh wow, everything is, even underneath, everything is black. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's impressive. It looks like your jump spot should be, that's not it. Well, that would have been a good ground. You would think the positive would be over here somewhere. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Looks like you could hit it right there. That looks like a good positive. We'll use that one. She's got power. It's up to her now. Is she gonna fire up and run or not? You guys comment below and tell me what you think. Cause we, we are about to find out. This thing is so, ooh. It is just so filthy. <laughs> well, the screen came on. The radio is on. I see no gauges, though. No gauges at all. Let me see if I can move this seat. The seat works. I'm moving the seat backwards. Yeah, we have no dash gauges. She runs. She runs. It goes backwards, forwards, and backwards. Wow, I'm not gonna leave it running, obviously. Uh, <laughs> who knows what condition everything is in under there, so important window does work. Less important window works. We're not gonna try out the convertible top. Look at all the smoke damage here, look at this. I mean, this whole car is just covered in smoke. And I'm sure there's probably water damage from the fire department coming out and uh, having to put out the fire. So you've got no cluster at all. Could it be something as simple as maybe, possibly just a fuse that got blown? Sure, maybe. Could it be something more serious like water intrusion? Yeah, it could be that too. I don't know. This one, I don't know if I want it or not. It's interesting, we've done one of these, it was a flood, and we took it to the dealer and had everything serviced to make sure it was in good running and driving order, and then we sold it. And uh, you know, that video did pretty well. That video actually did really well. Maybe it's time we try for a fire. We've done the flood, maybe it's time we go for a fire car. If you're interested in seeing us bring the burnt down Mustang to the channel and see if we can get it running, driving, and everything operating properly. I want you to leave a comment right now and hit the thumbs up button. Tell me that you want to see it. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one, but it was kind of interesting to me. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. It says it's a Volkswagen Golf All Track, it's a station wagon, and it's got significant damage for sure there's going to be more going on under here than meets the eye the wheel is broken obviously the suspension is probably severely damaged and the concerning thing is that this is an all-wheel drive vehicle who knows what damage has been done to the back end to the differential so it's a golf all track tsi with four motion meaning four wheel drive super cool car with a lot of damage now cool of course is my personal opinion yours will probably vary but obviously you got some damage to the dog leg here and the rocker and the doors and the mechanical aspect. So like I said, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. I just thought it was an interesting car as I walked by and I wanted to share it with you guys because I haven't seen it. And maybe some of you out there watching haven't seen one of these either, but I don't know. There's something about the little car that I just, I really like. I think it's a cool little car. Mileage? What is the mileage? Let's just take a quick peek. It's 29,118 miles. Not bad. 
And what year is it? It looks like it's a newer vehicle. It is a... I don't see it. I don't know. There it is. Maybe you guys can see it. I'm probably just missing it, but whatever. I don't see it. So moving on, I'm getting soaking wet here. Let's go to the next one. This is a very manly car right here. This is it for me, a 1996 Mazda MX-5 Miata. I've had so many of these cars, I can't even count how many I've had. I've <laughs> Laugh if you want to, I hear some of you out there laughing already, but I've had several of these Miatas and I love them, I do. They are fun little cars, albeit a little underpowered, maybe a little underwhelming in the power department there, but they handle like they're on rails, guys. I've never owned an automatic. I wouldn't want an automatic. I love the stick shift. They, they don't have a ton of power, but man, you can fly through twisties, corners. They handle the road like nothing else. Just a blast to drive. And being such a low profile vehicle, it really makes you feel like you're kind of one with the road. You really feel in tune with the vehicle while driving. This one, this one's a little rough. Obviously she got smacked pretty good on this fender. You've got this weird dip going on on the bumper. I don't know what happened there, but the biggest concern to me is not all that stuff's all minor cosmetic. You could drive it, not worry about it. The, the sucky part though is this zippered window right here that's been left down. Uh, that sucks. That, yeah, there's sand coming out of that. That really sucks that the zipper got left down on this um, because this car has just been getting soaking wet. And it, like I said, it's raining right now. So uh, the interior, it's pretty, pretty bad. Is this one I'm gonna get in and try to start? Nope, <laughs> nope, not gonna happen. Um, you could tell that back has been left down for a long time. There is mold, hopefully you can see it growing all over the floor, the seats, there's spider webs, there's looks like a tornado or two went through this vehicle. I'd love to put that top back up. I don't even see the zipper to be able to do it. And I really, I don't want to climb in this thing, guys. How many miles? 110, that's it? Are you kidding me? It's only got 110,000 miles on the clock. Somebody's taped up the instrument cluster. Was it stolen? Is this a stolen car that somebody just found in a field one day? This thing is awful. This is almost uh, no keys either. That's a shame. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe this one was, maybe this one was stolen. I kind of want to put this top up for the next person or maybe me, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a chance on it. Oh, there's spiders in here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, nope, <sighs> nope, nope. <clears throat> Sorry, little car. Let's pop the hood. I'm just dying to see what things look like under the hood. I got a, <laughs> I got a feeling this thing has not been on the road in a very, very long time. Can we? Oh, it got smacked. That's why this is bent in. I don't even know if I can get. There it is. Yeah, this is all smashed in. So something ran up on it. Oh, look at the spider webs. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa. Man. Um, I wonder how long it's been since this car has been running. This would be great for the channel. I'm trying to talk myself out of it. All right. We don't, we don't, we don't need this on the channel. Flat tires been sitting for years. It's in bad shape, but man, this would be a fun little car with only 110,000 miles, hail damage everywhere. I, this thing's an absolute disaster. This would be so much fun to bring to the channel and attempt to bring back to life. Well, since I'm good and soaking wet now anyway, I figured we might as well run over here and take a look at this last row of cars. There's really, it looks like there's a lot, but compared to the way it used to be, there's not a lot of cars over here anymore. I don't know what's going on, but you know, it is what it is. We haven't been to the sub lot in quite a while. So I thought it'd be fun to come out here and just take a look around, see what they got. An old Buick Century. The windows are down, the back windows busted out and there is duct tape everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. 
Kind of makes you wonder what happened to this car. Can we even look inside? It says no odometer. I'm just, I'm just really curious here. Oh, there's, is that mouse? Oh, ants. Whoa. Oh, hell no. Do you guys see these ants? That's a whole damn colony in here, man. Ants, that's all ants. I don't know how well you guys can see. I'll get you a little closer. But these are, these are all dead ants. Oh, oh, oh wow. That's different. That is, that is different. I didn't expect to find this out here today. I wonder what's under the hood. I got a feeling this car was parked. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, the feeling was right. I uh, <laughs> had a feeling this car had probably been parked for a while and the ants took it over. Yep, uh, suspicions are now confirmed. The spider webs give it all away. Oil, clean oil, interesting. I expected it to be kind of full of milkshake water. I can also tell it's got a new starter. There is a new starter down there. Hard to see, but it's the only shiny thing down there. It's got a new starter. Mud dauber nests everywhere. Spider webs absolutely everywhere. Uh, coolant? Oh, no battery. Wouldn't surprise me if the cats were missing too. Oh, good lord. Green coolant. Huh. This is, this is almost fascinating. The car itself is practically worthless. I mean, nobody needs or really wants one of these anymore. What do you think the chances are that it would turn over if we put a jump on? I mean, I, I, I don't, I, it's even got good tires, man. I don't want the car. I, I don't need a Buick Century in my life, but this one, I'm just, I'm just intrigued. I can't help myself. So let's put a jump on it. Let's see what it does. Well. She's juiced up. Let's find out, uh, do I really want to get in this? I don't, I mean, I don't see any ants crawling around. It doesn't look like anything is alive. My, my goodness. Wow. Just, that is really something. That is really something. We have power. The light is on. I'm going to try not to get in here. Uh, busted windshield. I just now saw that. We have gauges. Even the radio is on. 65% of the plates. Can we turn the radio off? There we go. Air conditioning is on. I don't want that on. Like, let's turn that off. Ah, bad connection. I hope I don't have to put push on the brakes to turn this key and get this car to crank over. Yeah, she's got a bad connection. She's not a... It's probably the ground. It's always the ground. She's not... She's not happy. Maybe we could try the ground right, right here. That might be a better, a better ground for it. All right, let's try it again. Grounds are always tricky, always. Okay, we. I don't want to sit in this. This is so bad. Look at the look at the ants back here too. All of that is dead ants. It's it this whole car is full of dead ants. I'm gonna climb in. Screw it. Let's just do it. No odometer. Boy, she cranks good. I don't think we got a fuel pump. No, one more time. No. All right, we tried, I'm getting out of here. We're not checking windows or nothing. Well, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if we've got a bad fuel pump in this. But it cranked very, very nicely. That sounded really healthy. So I think this car could be made to run again. Now, why would you want to? I, I That I don't know. Uh, I'm not particularly interested in it, 
but I was dying to know if it would uh, if it would fire up. Can we check the fuel? Oh, let me let me pull this off the fuel fuel tank here. There. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was expecting. And. Mm, I don't know, guys. I've smelled worse and seen cars run. This one, it smells bad, but it doesn't smell so bad that it wouldn't be able to run. But when I turned the key, I never did hear a fuel pump. So certain that she's got a dead fuel pump. Why this car ended up parked though, who knows? How many miles does it have? No clue. The odometer does not work. So for me, this one's, this one's a pass. Anybody want a busted up minivan with a blue front end and a silver back? No? How about a V6 Mustang? No. No, a Kia Optima with the windows down in the rain? Nope. Maybe a Honda Accord? Needs paint. It's typical of most of the Hondas from this generation. They were all like that. The paint was just really bad. Non-runner, the Optima. Kia, what is that, a Sorento? Eh. Ooh, a Ford freaking Ranger. Now you're talking my language. I know, I know, it's, it's a boring truck. Nobody likes a Ford Ranger. Well, I do, all right? I do, I love the Ford Ranger. She's got good tires. Looks like somebody just put tires on her. The paint's, you know, not great. Definitely some damage to the back bumper there, but nothing too bad. Dings and dents. This is not a bad looking truck, guys. I like this, and I know you probably want to see the Toyota Highlander over there, but I'd rather look at a Ford Ranger. I'm gonna pop the hood on this. It's got a D on it, 207,000 miles. This thing supposedly will start and move under its own power. Four cylinder or V6, automatic or stick? Drop your guesses down below. Let's see who was right. Did you guess? Put your guess down below right now. Hurry, hurry, time's running out. Let's find out if it's a four cylinder or a six cylinder. She's a V6. Okay, that's good. We're off to a good start now. If this is a six cylinder combined with a manual transmission, I will be in heaven because that is like the perfect combination for one of these trucks. From it's an automatic, Ugh, automatic. Well, you can't always get what you want, but you know, if you try sometimes, you might just find you get what you need. And uh, maybe we needed an automatic Ranger. No, we didn't. We didn't. It doesn't look too bad, but there's a lot going on, guys. Number one, the paint is trash. The window tint is trash, so you got to rip all that tint off. You can see over there, somebody already started. This seat is, well, it's destroyed. So there's uh, the steering wheels ripped to pieces. The buttons are all missing. We're off to a great start. Um, I can already tell you just from sitting in it, the shocks have shot. <laughs> they're, they're no longer shocking. Dead as a doornail. Well, of course, of course it's dead as door now. Oh boy. Um, you know, the headliner's disgusting. You probably can't see it, but it's really nasty. The back door does not open. Should we even bother? I, I am so no longer interested in this truck. I'll start it for you. I know you wanna hear it run. So let's fire it up. I'm already a little concerned. This truck has been sitting here since July of 2022. And we're obviously in May of 2023. So she's been here for a long time. Um, I don't know what that means, but it's been here a long time. Here we go. I'm priming the fuel pump since it's been sitting for about a year. She's gonna need all the help she can get. And here we go. Oh boy, that sounds, that sounds great. Probably no catalytic converter. Speedometer is bouncing around. That's, that's interesting. It says we're going 10, 20, 10, 5, 10, 15 miles an hour. And we're in park. 
are we in park? Oh. Oh, the shifter doesn't shift. <laughs> it says it's a run and drive. The shifter does not work. Oh, power steering. It's half there, half not. But you can't, uh, yeah, you can't shift that transmission. Let's go ahead and shut her down. Oh, now it works when it's not running. And now it's dead. Now it's dead as a door now. <laughs> oh, I don't know, guys. Um, <laughs> let's, let's try it again. I'll try it again. My instincts are telling me run far away from this. Just run, run, run far away. All right. Let's try it again. Maybe she'll... It... What it... Ah, oh, there it goes. There's reverse. And drive. Wow. Okay. That's... That's something. I... Important window. It works. Less important window also works. The brakes do feel good, but boy, she's she's rough. What do you think? Air conditioning? Well, it idled up as if the air conditioning was going to work. Uh, we got a vacuum issue because nothing is coming out of the vents. Coming out from up there. What do you think? AC? I'm gonna bet probably not. Um, it's going to surprise us. No. No air conditioning. Okay. I'm... I, I'm over that one. Oh, it smells awful. Ooh, wow. Yep, she smells pretty rough. Uh, the exhaust smells like crap, so... Gasoline is probably not the best either. It, it runs alright, though. You know, it, this is... This is one that I thought maybe I'd be interested in. As soon as I saw that V6, I was all about it. But when I realized it's an automatic with 200,000 miles, you know, uh, these weren't the best transmissions. I don't know. Could it be okay? Maybe. It definitely looks decent, guys. You could probably make something decent out of this. It's something I'm going to toss around, but honestly, I don't think I really want this in my shop. Now, this one I'm a little curious about. How many of you remember this? It's a Buick Cascada. I, you know, Cascada just doesn't sound right. To me, it should be Cascadia. Now that sounds appropriate, but a Buick Cascada, I don't know, this thing has been here for a long time. The date on this is January 29th, 2021. It's been sitting here for two and a half years. No, one and a half years, right? No, two and a half years. Yes, two and a half years this car has been sitting here. And I tried to bid on it. I wanted it because it had been sitting here like a year when I found it. Well, they wouldn't sell it to me. No. And eventually I came back and it said it was sold. Well, here it is. It's been sitting here two and a half years. The car is still here. So Copart, if you guys want to sell it, if you're interested in letting it go, I mean, I don't even, I don't know if it's still going to run. But it did last time we tried to fire it up, which was probably a little over a year ago. It's got good tires. It's, uh, what is this? It's a 16 Buick Cascada in pearl white. And it is an insurance car. And that's all we know. With 47,000 miles on the odometer. It's got good tire. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it's been wet. It's full of sand, dirt, and dust. How sad. How sad. How many of you, and I know Buick is not, you know, Buick's not like the car that everybody wants, right? But just be honest with me in the comments. How many of you would drive this? You know, if you could get this for a decent price, if it was a decent deal, how many of you would buy this car and drive the living hell out of it? I'm going to tell you right now, I would. I would. I, I actually really like this car. It may not be the most exciting car on the market. I would drive the hell out of it. 
I do. I like it. It's a, it's a cool, I think, two-door convertible Buick. I like it. Four-cylinder, I'm sure it's an Ecotec. You know, probably gets like 35 miles a gallon. Oh, wow. That's... <sighs> what a shame, man. What a shame. I wonder who I need to contact about this. You know, like, like, hey, who's responsible for this unit? Because I would, I would love to have this car. I mean, I'm not going to pay premium top dollar price for it. It's been sitting for two and a half years and it's sitting at what's typically known as a salvage auction. So, you know, I do have some reservations, but I would be willing to give a fair price for the car and bring it to the channel and see what it is, man. Let's throw a jump on it real quick and we'll find out if she still runs. So according to Copart's website, this unit doesn't exist. Um, it's here, but it doesn't exist. So I, I don't know, maybe this is something I could email one of my contacts at corporate and say, hey, like what is, uh, can I just turn this off? There we go. You know, it'd be worth shouting out to the uh, the local yard, maybe even, and, and saying, "Hey, <laughs> fired right up." You know, hey, what's going on with this car, man? Um, this window's been left down. Oh, and it's oh no, it won't go up. Hopefully, it just needs to be indexed. That window doesn't work at all. There it goes. Come on. I Even if I can't get the car, I'd love to know that the window goes up and down like it's supposed to to keep the, you know, keep water from No, it won't uh won't go up any further. Battery's completely shot, obviously. We've got a warning for the hood being open. Stability track. Open, then close driver window. Uh, I've already done that. Let's close the door. I'm covered in dirt now. Let's see if that... There we go. Open and close the right window. Well, if nothing else... Right rear window. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's going to have me go through all of this. I don't know why. I guess this is how it indexes. There we go. We've got that clear. So we've got a traction control light on. Brakes feel good. Right into gear. And it goes backwards. Goes forward. Goes backward. <sighs> Decent car. Power steering feels good. Brakes feel good. Obviously windows work. I'm sure the air conditioning works. I don't know how to turn it on. There's so many, so many buttons here. Let's turn it on auto. And it's it's so dirty in here though. I guarantee the AC works. Let's give it a sec. It's got half a tank of gas. I'm shocked that it still runs. The way this car has just been sitting here this long. I actually don't feel air conditioning. I don't want to mess with the convertible top. Um, I mean, it'd be nice to know if it works, but I'd hate to get it part way down or something and and not be able to not be able to get it back up. I don't want to do that. I don't know where the trunk release is be great if I could find it that's the convertible top that's all of your windows down simultaneously no books AC is not coming to life at least not yet maybe it'll change its mind maybe it won't let's go to the back let's see if we can pop this trunk real quick they're gonna be closing it's 350 so you're not gonna be open much longer okay so to open the trunk you push the Buick symbol well, there is no trunk. None. Does not exist. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so to open the trunk, push the Buick symbol. Lift the trunk. How cool is that? And while the trunk is open, since your taillights are on there, if you don't want to get hit at night, you got taillights and reverse lights, it looks like, right here to warn people that you're here. But again, no trunk at all. I don't know where the battery is. I would think the battery might be... Was the battery up front? Hell, I don't even remember. Okay. It runs great. It does. Looks like the window's coming apart here. That would need to be resealed. But not a bad looking car. Honest God, I would have no issue driving this. So I'm going to reach out 
to uh, I'm gonna reach out to Copart and just find out like what's the uh, what's the situation on this car because I'd love to bring it home. It's got a little Garrett turbo, <laughs> a little Garrett turbocharger. That's that's adorable. That little tiny turbocharger is uh, an itty bitty Garrett. She runs great. She does. She sounds really healthy. It looks like you could probably jump on the jump in this car, jump on the car. You could jump in the car, hit the road, and uh, you'd be good to go. Yeah, AC does not work. It's like completely, completely done with. I don't know how to turn it off either. That's great. It's got, it's got heated seats. She's loaded, man. She's loaded. Very sad. Remote start. Everything. Well, it is what it is. If I can do something about it, I'm going to try to bring this car home. I, I don't know why. It's an AGM battery, too. Boy, that's going to be expensive. Lovely. A bad AGM battery. Who knows? Maybe we could, maybe we could get it back, brought back to life. Probably not, though. But I would really like to know why a car this nice is just sitting out here going nowhere. Um, it looks really, really good. And I'd love to have it. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and definitely let me know. Consider subscribing to the channel and drop those comments down below. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.